Franklin Richards, the ultra-powerful Marvel entity explored. The Fantastic Four are quite well known for their own adventures galore. Now that's probably why it didn't come as a surprise at all when Franklin Richards, the son of Susan Storm and Reed Richards, was born into that world surrounded by the OG superheroes and became quite powerful himself. At one point, he was even considered a mutant with his abilities of energy and or matter manipulation to the molecular extent and his psionic skills as well. It was indeed impressive, however it made for an increasingly complex storyline, the history of the character thus becoming long-winded. The bits of he himself exploring a labyrinth that isn't an easy way to navigate because of the number of loops and complex aspects to it. But it has given the reader a hint of excitement at every panel and every page of a comic that Richards has been a part of. Most people around the world today are unaware of what a gift Franklin Richards is to the world of comics, even as several films over the years have been graced by the Fantastic Four. There is a hint that they may be coming back to the Marvel Cinematic Universe soon, and while we wait for something to lead up to the revelation of Franklin Richards therein, we shall attempt to shed some light on the amazing traits and powers that Franklin Richards had. Now before we get into our explanation, we have a very small request. If you like our content, support us by subscribing to our channel. This is one small click for you, but for us, it certainly means a lot. Thank you, and let's begin. Franklin Richards, The Origins In 1968, when the Fantastic Four Annual issue number 6 was released, we were introduced officially to a baby born in New York City with abilities as powerful as being able to alter reality and warp it or create a new one, named Franklin Benjamin Richards. Jack Kirby and Stan Lee gave the infant a life impacted by two of the most impressive individuals from the world of Marvel Comics, if one looked at his parents, of course. The individuals who made the core of the Fantastic Four, Reed Richards and Susan Storm. As an adult, the reader first meets Franklin in issue number 376 of the Fantastic Four series in 1993. Susan, while pregnant with Franklin, had several premonitions. Franklin was even able to move objects from within the womb. Since Susan had cosmic energy instilled in her, these powers of her baby were apparent even while he was still developing in his mother's body. At one point, the effect of the pregnancy was so bad that she weakened considerably, losing her cosmic energies, making the rest of the Fantastic Four very concerned about her health deteriorating and her ability to carry the child to term. To make sure that neither the mother nor the child's life was lost, the rest of the Fantastic Four traveled to the negative zone. Encountering some trouble there, they eventually managed to receive the cosmic control rod, and in their own real world, they helped Susan recover, and she gave birth to a healthy child while not compromising her own health conditions. Franklin Benjamin Richards was named after his late grandfather, Franklin Storm, whose death had been caused as he successfully saved the entire team's life, and Richards' best friend, Benjamin J. Grimm, the Thing, who was declared the baby's godfather. The sorceress Agatha Harkness, who lived on the Whisper Hill, was the child's designated babysitter in the absence of his parents, and that bond grew more and more over time. When Agatha moved to Salem, California, Franklin had to go back to the home of the Fantastic Four. Franklin Richards, Some Tales to Tell As a toddler, Franklin was probably not aware of it, he managed to do quite significant things for the battles and for the overall lives of the Fantastic Four. Probably the very first instance was when the Frightful Four had managed to almost defeat the Fantastic Four and the thing had passed out. Toddler Franklin woke him up with his abilities and our Fantastic Four managed to snatch a victory. Some of the most interesting stories about the character is from his childhood. Once he was playing with a Rubik's Cube, and after getting nothing but frustration out of his attempts to solve it, he decided to use his powers. The television playing in the background suddenly had the show say, when are you going to grow up? In this situation where Franklin's powers were extended still, 
It got all manipulated, and Franklin transformed into an old, cloaked man. He was entirely confused and had the brains of a child, lacking knowledge, and attacked all those near him, including Ben, Johnny, and his father Reed as well. Franklin was only wanting to get an answer or a key to knowledge, but ended up wiping their brains of all information altogether. His mother Susan had managed to meet him later, identifying her son in the streets, and that is how his memory came back. Before transforming back to his younger self, he was able to change Ben to his slate cover form, a going back from Reed's misfired experiment on him. Franklin then helped some psychological inhibitors to be placed in Franklin's brain, not fully depriving him of his powers, but limiting them nonetheless, until he became an adult and could manage himself better. That control, however, wasn't full. Franklin managed to manifest the powers to have premonitions and foreseeability in his dreams, something that his mother was affected by while she was pregnant with him. It was normal and controlled by his usual standards, and he managed to even join the Power Pack, now under the alias Tattletale. His parents were unaware of his membership, as he had wanted to be in the spirit of the rest of the members of the group whose parents were unaware of their children's superpowers altogether. He befriended most closely a one Kofi Whitemane, and on the other hand gained several enemies over the adventures they had as a team. One of these adventures even had them traveling through outer space to an alien world of snarks and back to Earth thereafter. The evolution of this power of projecting himself in a vision or a dream has continued to develop over stories and copious plot twists. To Franklin, the families of the Power Pack members as well as the members themselves, of course, were like a second family. His own parents often stayed at the Avengers Mansion, but they too got close and personal with all of the individuals that their son had found solace and friendship in. However, Susan and Reed remained unaware of the kids' powers except their own. They trusted their child with the Power Pack members, as they deemed it unsafe for their boy to be at the headquarters of the Fantastic Four. Once the Power family left for the Chimelian planet, Franklin returned to his parents. Franklin Richards, a shocking twist to his history arc. Franklin Richards is undoubtedly one of the most powerful characters to come out of the Marvel Universe. It was entirely rewritten in 2020. Issue number 26 of the Fantastic Four, made in its entirety by the team of Dan Slott, Jesus Albertoy, and R.B. Sylvia, gave Franklin's character arc a twist that when it comes undone, shall have quite an effect on future tales as well as Franklin's own personality traits. Examples of Franklin's extensive powers have been shown at multiple instances, being able to control Galacticus as an adult, eliminate celestial beings, create a whole universe if he wished to, or being able to save his friends and family when Marvel's Onslaught event ended. And he even managed to change himself genetically on one occasion in his early life, but more on that later. Yet, we have only mentioned what is the tip of the huge iceberg. Being born with these powers had a characteristic associated with him though, that of being a mutant. Before growing up and officially being an adult, Franklin spent his time with the Power Pack and only later in life did he join the X-Men on Krakoa, their home island. While being recruited though, Franklin did lose his powers and it was revealed that he is in fact not a mutant. He was never. When the alien Comrant was being fought against by the Fantastic Four, Franklin wanted to help and pushed himself to use his powers against the enemy. Surprisingly, he not only failed to do that, but he was drained of all of his powers which he realized when he attempted to use a Krakoan gateway. He tried using the Fantastic Four's Forever Gate their key to all points in time and space, and failed again. While he was making all of these unsuccessful attempts to access Krakoa, Professor X telepathically revealed to him the fact that he would not be able to teleport there either. And his loss of powers meant that he was no longer welcome there. Xavier pointed out that the X-Gene, as one may be aware, gives a mutant their powers. It was way back in his childhood that Franklin had managed to wrap up his DNA and infuse it with the X-Gene. 
In his wish and strong desire to be considered a part of everything, he had foundationally transformed himself altogether. We don't know what the future holds here, but it does not need to be pointed out how carefully the further plots concerning Franklin will have to be handled, given that the minority and race cards could be at play here. No matter what or how this is handled, it will be a compelling read and be scrutinized by critiques and readers alike. Franklin Richards What made him so powerful? Fan theories are the bane of existence of all things fictional. The same is of course true for the Marvel Universe as well. It is believed that when a fan says the Marvel Universe is operating on a sliding timeline, they essentially mean that the concept of time and its passage is different in the Marvel world than on Earth. The signature term sliding is born out of the fact that as a few years pass, MU seems to pick up a new year as the beginning of the timeline. It is either that or time moving remarkably slow as characters age or de-age not in sync with real time at all. More often than not, we see history attempting to be in sync with the present in an absolute rush. Franklin's powers are often considered to be the foundation of a spectacle or an event. It is ancient, it is bizarre, and it is the reason for brainstorming for our theorist comic geeks. We are all allowed to have some fun with these things, you know. <laughs> the whole loss of power storyline from before inevitably points out that we will have to go back to the origin for new discoveries about their source. The cosmic control rod that Reed, Ben, and Johnny had to obtain from the negative zone to minimize the negative effects of the pregnancy on Susan when she had Franklin probably managed to make his own son near immortal. As a nihilist, the gigantic, tall, supervillain ruler of the negative zone who owned the rod himself said at one point that the rod gives its wielder immortality and the ability to manipulate energy by and large, which is exactly the powers that line with the whole Franklin situation and his entire story so far. It is this ability to affect matter and energy at the molecular level that gives Franklin Richards telekinetic abilities to alter the extent of his strength. Now it's a far reach, but a plausible theory because no plot confirms the same but the ability to warp time is generally associated with the ability to supplement strength. His weakness is on show right now. The loss of his powers since he isn't a mutant as clarified by Professor X. So it remains to be seen if he is able to obtain that kind of strength or relearn everything or does it just become a whole new story as to how he will learn to lead a normal life away from the conditional normal that he had built his life around. Franklin Richards, closing in. Going by the origin and power theory that there is to go by, Franklin Richards is the backbone of the entire Marvel Universe not aging, being projected as an immortal. It is notable that prior to Franklin's introduction in the late 1960s, Marvel superheroes, in fact, any individual who was a part thereof, aged in real time, more or less. In a fun aspect of things, there are instances to exhibit that Franklin does not know the extent of his own powers. His ability to change reality is often seen on other Marvel superheroes and is exemplifying the fact that he does it absolutely unknowingly. Once in the event of Heroes Reborn, Franklin managed to make a whole universe, albeit a pocket of it had some Marvel superheroes sent there, restarted their lives altogether and just somehow was not aware of it himself. Despite his mixed sentiments over losing his mutant status, Franklin attended the Hellfire Gala with his family, demonstrating camaraderie with Kate Pride, another hint that a development is still unclear but really looks promising. All we can say here really is that we cannot wait to see what direction Franklin Richards story will take, with all the jazz of him being powerless and whatnot. Will we meet a superhero's reawakening, or will we meet a mere mortal learning to relive his normal life? And if you liked our content, do not forget to leave a like and subscribe to us if you haven't already. Have a good one and be safe. Thanks everybody!